so many people have the idea that vegans are somehow different from them, that they're either celebrities or they're old hippies or they're young people who would have been hippies <laughs> if they were old enough, when really we're all kinds of people from all kinds of walks of life. Hi, I'm Victoria Moran. I'm the author of Main Street Vegan and the director of Main Street Vegan Academy. I went vegetarian at 19 and it took me some time to make it to vegan. I was in my 30s by the time I was able to stop eating dairy products and eggs. It was a different era and it was really hard back then. But what's happening now is that it's understood. People know the word, they can pronounce it, and there's so much food available. After I wrote the book Main Street Vegan in 2012, it just seemed like that was such a great concept, being a vegan in the real world. So I had the idea for the Main Street Vegan podcast and then for Main Street Vegan Academy, training and certifying vegan lifestyle coaches and educators. And we've been going for 10 years. Even though I had been self-employed since the late 1980s, I knew that when Main Street Vegan Academy happened, there was an entity that wasn't just me with my keyboard. And so you need to protect yourself whenever you're in business. And even I, as someone who was not very business savvy, knew that having business insurance was important. So I did some research and found Hiscox because they have wonderful customer service. They're actually people you can talk to. And they talked to me and explained to me exactly what I needed. We have all kinds of wonderful businesses being run by our graduates. A Kat Mendenhall cowboy boots in, in Dallas. V Marks the Shop, a vegan bodega in Philadelphia. And of course, we'll be visiting today um, the Fromagerie Riverdale vegan cheese on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. I joined Main Street Vegan Academy before I opened Riverdale, and I really wanted to connect with other vegans and immerse myself and I thought that Main Street Vegan Academy was a great medium for it. You know we have a good amount of like locally made New York ones but we also get them from the west coast, we have some from Texas. So a lot of the cheeses we carry here at Riverdale are made from nuts, cashews, macadamia but we also have a few that are made with hemp for example or, or tofu or even some that are made from oat milk. So this is the blue cheese that takes about two months to finish. And this wheel is not quite finished, but it's at the next phase. So this one's been aging for about two months now. And now we're probably gonna give it another week or two so it can develop a little bit of that blue mold on the outside too. Uh, so this one's cashew based. At Main Street Vegan Academy, people come from all over North America and all over the world all from different walks of life. And my job is to plant within them this wonderful spark of you can do this. You can work for this cause that you believe in. You can make it a business if you like, and you can change the world, even just a little bit. It's really magical. It's a responsibility and it's also such a joy.